so now let us look at the next problem under array so we were solving this top 50 array coding problems for interviews in geeks for geeks so we were under level 2 and there we were i think we were solving find find the largest sum continuous subarray largest sum continuous subarray when they say this word largest sum continuous subarray or largest sum of subarrays then contains algorithm is is only the like most optimum solution that you can write so i'll explain you how it works before that let me code so it is actually not that much difficult but it is like when you see one time or two time you will not understand right you need to like it takes time to understand but the length of the code is again within 10 lines you can complete so let me explain you what they have given they, have, they will be giving you the array and size of the array and you need to find the subarray with a larger sum that's it so let me and there are positive and negative elements as well obviously if that is not there then you can simply find the sum of complete array right if positive elements if you have only positive elements then you can simply find the sum of all the elements so that is not the case so i will take a variable called current sum current sum and let me make it equal to zero so i will take another variable let me call it as max sum let it be equal to int max or in sorry int min next i will get into the loop so i need to search i'll traverse through this array then i plus plus then what i will do is let me correct this so i will make current sum right current sum i will add up i will find a sum i will add the elements into the current sum right after that if this current sum sum comes out to be greater than right max sum right at that time you make max sum should be equal to the current sum sum right and again if this current sum sum is less than zero then you make this current sum equal to zero that's it and you need to return what let me make this as long long and let me make this as well as long long so let me return the max element r e t u r return max sum so let me compile i will show you i need to check whether it is working or not so again current sum should be made equal to zero mira it is working let me submit or so there are so many test, test cases and all the test cases are passed so again it is simple you need let me take this problem let me take this test case so you have this elements right you are making current sum initially let me make current sum initially it is equal to zero okay max sum should be equal to int min int min right m i n min so you traverse through this array while traversing first thing what you need to do is current sum sorry current sum current sum should be added with this element that is one that is the first element so, so current sum will become one okay you need to check whether this current sum is greater than max yes it is greater than max so make max equal to current sum right so because you need to return max element and at the same time you need to find right which is the biggest element like bigger element or the greatest element i mean some some of the greatest element I mean, by adding, you should get the greatest element. So, you need to find that, right? So, you need to use this if loop. 
sorry if statement it is if current sum is greater than max sum you make that max sum equal to current sum this is a common sense right now if current sum is zero or uh, that is less than zero that means if it is negative you need to make it as a zero i will tell you why this statement confuses everybody let me explain it again since it is not less than zero then you simply keep current sum as one now you will traverse through this array now current sum will be updated to three because one plus two is three now again max will be updated to what three because uh, current sum is greater than max right okay now current sum is not less than zero obviously it is not less than zero so do nothing now you try through this array and again this will become six and this will become six and next uh, again that will not work because six is not less than zero now you got minus two and minus two now you need to make this as four now you need to compare compare them since current sum is not greater than max you don't do nothing you you do nothing that means don't um, the max should stay like that itself right like six because if you take these three elements then you are getting more sum than taking these four elements so that is why i am not changing the max logical right then you got five again you increment this you increment this now 4 plus 5 is what right 4 plus 5 is what it is 9 so previously let me explain you again that point what i said so i am not updating the max because by taking these three elements i am getting maximum element then taking these four elements right that is why i am not taking max right it doesn't mean that i sh i will not take this minus 2 further in the array because it may be profitable to me right by taking 5 as well let me check let me check that so for now instead of taking these four elements i will take only these three elements because its sum is 6 which is greater than 4 now i will travel through this array i got 5 it will be updated to 9 now again 9 9 is greater than 6 right so update it to 9 that means so why I, I updated because taking all of this is more profitable profitable than taking only these three that is taking one two three is more sorry taking all of this sum is profitable that means more it will yield the more mag, uh, more sum than taking these three that is why i updated to nine so i'm updating like this so actually this is not a proper test case to explain there are many negative elements the uh, this current sum will go below minus one sorry below zero at that time what you need to do is so let me explain you with other test cases so this is i think a proper test case right so let me take this one so again let me take some other let me change this test case so i am changing it to say fire then so let it be like this so by looking at that what you can say is maximum sum is five obviously maximum sum is five so now let, let me traverse through this array now current sum initially is zero maximum sum is initially in min yeah, right now if this current sum i am taking a cumulative sum so current sum will become current sum will become minus one right minus sum minus one now if this if this current sum is greater than max yes it is greater than max make max is equal to minus one okay then again you see that current sum is going below zero that means you need to update this value to zero okay fine now I am going to the next array element that is minus 2. Again, I need to add this minus 2 to this current sum. Again, since current sum is not greater than max, you don't need to update, update this max. So, it will stay as minus 1 itself. And again, you see that current sum is going less than 0. That means update this to 0. Okay. Now, go to the third element. It is minus 3. It will become minus 3. 
since minus 3 again less than minus 1 you don't need uh, you don't need to do anything then you but you need to update this minus 3 to 0 then you, you are going to minus 4 again you need to update this to minus 4 since minus 4 is less than minus 1 you don't need to do anything for max now you have 5 so if you so this should be converted to what 0 at 0 since it is less than 0 right then you see 5 right you see 5 now you update your current sum to 5 so compare now since 5 is greater than minus 1 you are making max as 5 right since 5 is not less than 0 you are not doing anything right then you you are returning what max so you are getting the result so that is how Cadence algorithm works so it will set if it goes be, below minus 1 it will set again to 0 that means I don't need this minus 1 because it is giving me lesser uh, sum so let me neglect and make it as a 0 that is what it considers so this is about about Cadence algorithm so thank you